Five Little Known Secrets for Dementia Caregivers with Tracy Cram Perkins. Hi there. I am Tracy Cram Perkins, the host of the Dementia Home Care Show here on USA Global TV and Radio. I am also the author of the book of the same name. And you'll see this QR code. This is for an extended version of the same talk. So if you want to see the full hour long version, feel free to scan the code and go to that website. Stick with me. We'll talk about five little known secrets to make it a little easier to do dementia caregiving. What you're seeing on the left-hand side is a healthy aged brain, age 55 and above. The one you're seeing on the right is an Alzheimer's disease brain. It is in moderate disease. It is shrinking. It has holes in it. The memories that were in those holes no longer exist. When you're learning something, let's say in kindergarten, you learn how to tie your shoelace. Well, then by the time you're in second grade, your brain remembers that information from tying the shoelace and applies it so you can learn more quickly how to tie more complex knots. So the brain is hardwired to do this for us. So it helps us learn faster so it doesn't take as long to acquire knowledge. The brain is looking for the information and they pick the closest to wherever that hole is. Let's look at some tips that we can use to help do that. These are five simple tools you can use as a dementia caregiver to help your loved one. The whiteboard is a useful tool in recording the day's activities and the answers to repetitive questions. The calendar clock is a very useful tool to orient your loved one on the day, the date, and the time and remind them of upcoming appointments. The communication cards are a great tool to bridge the gap when they can no longer tell you what's wrong. And then there's the pill minder for when your loved one is still able to take pills but needs prompting. The final tool I want to share with you is the memory book. It tells your loved one's story. It's a great tool for distraction, redirection, also as a conversation starter and telling you where they are in their story so you know how to answer their questions. Music is probably the most powerful tool in your toolbox after laughter. Music is a way to maintain connection. It sticks with your brain longer than any other thing, including reading. When you're having an issue with somebody, you can play their favorite music if you move them to another room. Something that makes them happy. Or you can start singing songs together from their childhood. These are some of my favorite books for caregivers. My show airs on the third Tuesday of every month, and you can view past episodes on YouTube. Thank you, everyone. This program has been brought to you in part by Tracy Cram Perkins. Connect with her and order her book at tracycramperkins.com. For more information about Alzheimer's disease, support resources, and how you can help, contact the Alzheimer's Association at 1-800-272-3900 or visit their website at www.alz.org. They offer 24-7 helpline support and a wealth of information to assist you and your loved ones.